Welcome to Outside the Box. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Outside the Box. We have a really cool one for you today. We've got Alter Nation. Alter Nation. All right, so I don't know much about this, but I'm gonna let Will explain a little bit more about this really cool toy line. Okay, so there are, they're from Panda Buddy Toys, it's on the bottom of the box, and these are really cool figures. I, they're about seven inches tall. This guy, I'm pretty sure is about 7.5 with the little spikes on top of his head, but they're around the same size. But then, if you look over here, some of these guys are a little smaller, some of them are like five inches, but they go all the way up to like 7.5 inches tall, I think. Um, so there's six characters right now in phase one, and they, I'm pretty sure they have two coming out. It says look for phase two, and there's two new characters, so hopefully those come out. We'll do a video on those. Um, but this, so this is Sabotage. Sabotage, yeah. He's a bad guy. Yeah, this He's is a bad, bad guy. guy. So, <laughs> it's color, they're a bad guy. It's yellow. It's a good guy. Also, they have a skull. I mean, do you just uh, so, okay, so. Good guys have a logo, and the bad guys have a yeah, logo. Yeah, bad guys have a skull, and then that's GK Wait, Delta. Where's, where's the... Generation Chimera Delta, GK. So, they're each, like, they're called human-animal hybrid heroes. And it's a hybrid oh, They're all mixed with different creatures, so let's check out Sabotage. Now, Sabotage is not mixed with creatures, but he's a human mixed with, like, toxic waste and machinery. And we can show you some of that when we open him because I can see a little bit of toxic stuff. And then obviously he's got, he looks like a machine. And then Quillroy over here is mixed with a human, an African porcupine, <laughs> a neotropical fruit bat, and an Indian rhino rhinoceros. My goodness, man. This guy is, this guy is a lot of different animals. So each character, you'll get the character, you'll get a resealable window box. So this is resealable. Like you can open this and then put it back in the package. You'll get like two to three. Four weapons, I think. Maybe three to four, sorry. And then you also will get a mini comic for each character. Which is really cool because if any of you remember He-Man. He-Man's back in the day, like how old I am. You got a mini comic with your He-Man's. So that's that was really, really cool. And it's really Give cool to see background. that here. What's that? Give a little background, like. Uh, yeah, right, it was, uh, it was a comic. About you know the character you open, whether it's He Man hey, or Man at Arms castle. or Castle. Yeah, because we don't castle. know. Castle. We don't know much about these. What are these things? So that comic could help a little bit. That's true. We don't know much about these, and the really cool thing about this Where's is this phone? is not a licensed character. This is an original concept, <laughs> which is really refreshing to see. Oh, I see. The and thing. I encourage you to go to Pandemonia Toys because they really are about creating toys that are one of a kind, unique, and not licensed, which is really refreshing and cool to see. Okay, I, guys, I cannot believe I forgot to tell this, but each one of them also comes with an action feature or two. I'm pretty sure this guy comes with two, he comes with one, but Sweet. an action feature is basically like light up effects or like spray loaded some stuff and like, I don't know, other stuff that action figures do. So on this guy, he's got a Sonic Punch cyber arm. So I'm guessing it's spring loaded. I Cyber so. punch. And he also has lights and sounds if you press a button. Oh, okay, so he lights up. That's cool. And that's his collectible mini comic button. That is really cool. So what does is, what is Quillroy do? Quillroy, the quills on his back launch off. <laughs> see the buttons for the quills. You can see them right on his shoulders. You see the little buttons? No, oh, yeah. So there's buttons to launch these quills. That's pretty cool. That'd be fun to see that go. Um, well, okay. We don't really know much about the character's background or like so we'll have to read the, the series itself. So yeah, so the comic is going to give us that little bit of background information. There's also a puzzle on the back of each box yep. where you can get a secret message um, from El Rey, which El Rey, is he the... <laughs> You first. So he's the leader for the good guys. For the good guys. I don't know what we do for this one. So we'll have to look into this one. Well, so these two are both phase one characters, right? Like yeah, you had said. Phase one. And there are two more coming out for phase two. This is really sweet. Um, so I think I think we should open it. It's go time. Let's open. <laughs> Quillroyd. 
Is that cool where the seat can stand in? Um, Alright guys, this is going to be a collaboration on Quillroy. Right, so this is going to be a collaboration on Quillroy. So nah. Quillroy, sorry. Nah. Oh man. All those weapons. <laughs> Look at that weapon. That is sweet. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a dumbbell. Alright, let's see. So, he comes with a little energy drink. <laughs> a little something called 36 and a half hour energy drink. <laughs> called horse bull energy, which kind of makes sense. I mean, it's a rhino. Charging bowl, something like that, maybe? I don't know. Right, right. He's a cross between a rhino, a bat, and a porcupine, right? Or some kind of like. So Wait. I can see the quills for the porcupine, the bat. Head. Wait, that's ready? Face is Three, that. two, one. Oh, he launched them all out. Oh, that is cool. They Did they. Did you press that three times or did. No, just... you have to push it down. Really hard. Oh, you keep I pushing have, it down. No, 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 no. It... It's at once motion, but like if you, if you don't want all the launch out, you like push it. But if you want them all to go out, you have to push all the way down. Oh, okay. Well, let me cool. try and do that. So I really liked how that fired one at a time. Like instead of them like all firing at once, which yeah. would be cool too. But you can, like you said, you have the kind of the option to do that. Yeah. I mean, you can fire one at a time. You just got to be a little careful. They, do You're they putting in the quills upside down. Do they go in a specific way? Yeah. I, there's, I'm pretty sure. Well, does it matter which one they go in? I don't. It doesn't know. matter. They just might look up. He put them backwards, but you know, it's okay. Oh, he just flew off the that is cool. That is cool. So his action is he shoots his quills out, and yeah, the and then apparently there's right a barrel flail, but I really don't know what that is. So okay, so he's got actually quite a bit of detail for an action figure. I mean, you've got the headphones on the side. You can definitely see his feet. They got sort of that rhino feel to it. Yeah. Um, the porcupine quills and his, his bat face. Yeah, his bat Wait, face it reminds me of. They're actually sharp if you do this. Yeah, it is a little but these sharp, are but... these are rubber, so it's yeah, not, not real plastic. Oh, but he yeah. does stand up pretty well. He's Ow. tall for an action figure. Ow. I think that is really cool. You know, his head moves. You know, he's got articulation in his head. His arms have articulation. What? His hands, um, his legs, um, knees, and his ball joint at the top. and his feet have a ball joint. So that is cool. just right, a short break. Will. While they're putting that away. I will mention the horse bowl energy drink, this like thing around it, it's a sticker, so it can come off. I mean, still, even the detail in this, you got the little tab that you like pull on the top. Okay, so he comes with a bow and he has all these different arrows. And what's cool is the, the arrows actually clip into the bow. There's a few little clips here and you can clip in each arrow into the bow. Yeah, it looks like one's like almost like a bomb on the end of it. Yeah, this one different. looks like this one looks like a rocket. Yeah, this has like little claw, like little grips, like almost like it sticks to it. That looks like it is like an electrical one. Like oh yeah, like taser. a shock shoe, right? Like a taser. Yeah, this one looks like a missile. A missile. This one looks like a <laughs> rocket. And then this one I don't know. Maybe it's like a gas bomb. Like it hits the ground and then this much gas comes out. But it's really cool. I tell you what, I would not want to get hit by this thing. What do you got there, buddy? This is the map. Is that a map? I don't know. That's so his it actually tells you that these arrows can snap on the porcupine's launch off. Quill fire action, bow and arrow. And it shows you the proper... Okay, so that was what I was worried. I was kind of an issue with was I putting the quill in the wrong hole. Uh, so it looks like... I can look at this picture and figure it out. All right, so it looks like these two are, they are arch nemesis. That's why we picked out these two. And if we do videos in the future, it's probably gonna be like this. We'll have a good guy, bad guy, the arch nemesis. And why I think that is, well, I'm, I've seen it on the website and they have like a little show about this. And also in the comic book, he's fighting this guy. I. I am impressed. I really love, I think the detail on this character is really cool. Even just from the weapons, the energy can, the weights, the dumbbell, like, wow. uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's, and he has a good stance to him. I mean, he holds up oh. really well. Yeah. Uh, I get, think that's really cool. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> and you get a mini comic, which, <laughs> Plus I mean, the resealable box. And the resealable box, so we can put it back in the this box. And you can put him on a shelf and keep the dust off of him. He looks like he's just ready to take on the enemy. Da, 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 that's cool. Which is sabotage. Really cool. All right, so Quillroy, really cool. Action comic included, little mini comic. We're gonna learn a little bit more about this guy. But I think now 
We need to open up Sabotage. He wants a good guy to win, so he's the good guy, right? This is the bad guy. Wait, never mind. There's tape. There's tape. There's tape on there's that. There's tape on. Maybe, okay. maybe not. Maybe not. No, oh, there's definitely tape. I can We're just, just rip, rip it open. This tape off. Actually, wait. Never mind. You just peel it off. Just peeling it. There yeah. you go. Peeling the tape off. So this guy's taped. This guy was not taped. <laughs> I mean, he, I like just from first glance, he has a little more detail as far as like the, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we actually have stickers in the box that we have to put on him. Oh, so he has stickers. Okay, so. They're not, there's only like detail. six stickers. And you don't have to put them on. He'll, it, they're not going to really change. Like, he's going to still look the same. But there's a few stickers just to make him. Here, let's see if we can open this now. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we got him out. You can already see the spring-loaded punch. Yeah, as soon as you open it, his arm sprung up that position. Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing this is actually really cool. So it looks like if you pull it back, and then so I gotta get a good grip. And oh, oh wait, I gotta turn it in. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Bam. Get, okay, there you go. Bam. There you go. Bam. 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 That would, All right, that would not feel good. Now all that's left to find is the button. So I'm looking around. I don't see it on the front. Oh wait, is this a button? It looks like a button. Oh yeah. All right, so what you want to try and press it? Wes, you press that button and see what happens. Push that button, bud. Let's see what it is. Oh, that noise is loud. Just Impressive. It's really loud. It's like, no, it's like, Okay, does his light his eyes light up too, right? His yeah, eyes his eyes light up. Eyes light up. Hey dude, you're gonna your ears are gonna hurt after this. Oh yeah, because bats have big ears. That's gonna that's, that's gonna true. Be, that's a good point, buddy. That's gonna be painful. Alright, so looking at this guy, I can tell that he's a machinery. This is definitely a machine. And we also got the ale like the mutated fist right here. You yeah, can tell it's got like blue veins. So that's like his human side arm. Yeah, and then I'm guessing mutated arm. I'm guessing if this is just a human head in there, probably. This? I, I would guess like some kind of just armor covering maybe, but you know, he is part machine, so I think he's actually Now, he's definitely a little harder to stand up. Not coming out of that. <laughs> I think he's harder to stand up just because of the lights. He's a little heavy, but you can still stand him up. It's just, you gotta lean him back. All right, so let's go over his weapons. So, yeah, this guy's got quite an arsenal here. First of all, he's got this machine gun. This is really cool. This is probably my favorite weapon that we've seen out of all of these. I love the machine gun. <laughs> he's massive. They're huge. Look at this. So <laughs> uh, it looks like he goes in this fist, and then this fist like grabs this. That's him. Yeah, I'm just doing as in the I think you're right. Because <laughs> <I think laughs> <he holds laughs> <it like laughs> <that. laughs> I don't see how you can hold that just in one hand, but maybe you can. Uh, Oh, All right, see. so he's got the machine gun. We've also got, I'm pretty sure it said laser cannon. Laser cannon? <gasps> laser cannon. What's this? That is a Gatling gun. That is, I think that is what they call it on the box. Let's just see. It's either a Gatling sure. gun or machine gun, but this is sick. I, th I This is really cool. Pew. Sonic Punch, Cybernetic Overdrive Lights and Sound. That's the, uh... Daddy? Oh. He has a laser rifle, galactic gun. Oh, sorry, galactic. <laughs> it's a Gatling gun. Galactic. Galactic. It's a Gatling gun, but this, it's modified. This could be a galactic Yeah, gun. this is a Gatling gun. Gatling That's a Gatling gun. gun. That, can we just take a minute to see yeah, how yeah, big yeah. that thing is? That thing is yeah, about stand five. Stand next to him. That is a massive weapon. Wait, guys, you see how? I mean, but he need that arm. I mean, his mechanical arm is just gonna hold that thing up. Dude, oh, see if he'll fall. <laughs> wait, 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 we still gotta push the bow. So, okay, knife in hand. That's cool. Definitely only fits in this hand because this hand is just too that big. hand. I think that hand is specifically gonna hold this giant Gatling gun because. I don't know what else could support that thing. It's huge. I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm just going to put it in his hand and see how this goes. See what happens. It's always... Well, I don't, I don't have a stupid one. There's a dude right there. 
Oh yeah, he would just okay. throw his spikes in him. And then get oh, this is hard. hard. This is this is hard to get that gun. So it looks like okay. So this that hand does not very. This does not hold this. So it's not right. No, I think it has to. I mean, it has to go in there, right? Wait, yeah, you can grab it, but he can't like hold the whole handle because it's too big. No. Since you can, he might just kind of hold the end like this, you know? Yeah, like that, and then. I mean, it is a tight squeeze here. But then this goes here. And bam! Boom! Look at that. Now he's holding the Gatling gun. So, <laughs> that's, I think that's how he has to hold it. I, I mean, don't even know how he's going to stand up with this now. <laughs> he's so, oh, I got it! There he is. He is standing oh, up dun, with dun, the Gatling gun. Dun. We also have the... Laser cannon. Laser rifle. Laser, laser rifle, yeah. Laser rifle. I think it's laser rifle. Let me just make sure because I will. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, laser so. rifle. And then he's got. And let me just get this right. Okay. This is a military issued combat knife. And he's got. He looks like he just came from the gym. He crafted a weapon. I can see how these guys could be enemies. He's like, throw it in the trash okay. can. I could see that too. You know what's interesting here though? Like I almost think that he, I like that this guy's a good guy because I think he looks cool. Like sometimes, you know, good guys kind of look not as cool Not as cool as the bad guys. Like, I don't know. It just, but <laughs> in Star like Skeletor is really cool looking and He-Man is, I mean, He-Man's cool looking, but he's not Skeletor. Please call me Skeletor. It's just, you know, just those kind of references. Um, but I think that is really cool with Quil Quilroy. Yeah. So Dad, he's that. Really cool. They're all cool though. Like I like them all. I, like I them. know you do like them all. Now he. Oh, he started the annoying noise. Wee -wee -wee -wee. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> well, okay. So let me ask you this, Will. You found these guys, right? Yes. And you're really excited to see them. What? What did, did you find Quilroy first? Is this the one that you saw first that you liked? Okay, so I've seen these before. I've seen them about a year ago. And I only saw Sabotage. I was like, wow, he's really cool. He comes with a machine gun. He just looks really cool. I didn't know they had any action music right there. I just liked the looks. A few, maybe like a month ago, started looking into them. And I saw Quilroy and I was like, wow, this is perfect. Uh, that guy's cool. I like this guy. And then I, they all, they kind of all went together and they were both like good guy and bad guy. So I got them. Just had to. They're really cool. I like this guy. I think I like this guy a little bit more. I just, he's the one that got me into it. Where's his action comic? Did we get it out of the box? No, we didn't. We did not get out Sabotage's action comic. Yeah. So the art is insanely cool. Whoever did this from Panda Money Toys, it's very cool. I love this. It's, it just... It matches the character, and you can see the alien hand, and that looks really, really good. It, it just, it's, it's good. This is cool. The artwork is really nice. They have a scene on the back where you can learn more about it. That's right. You can learn here. more about each character, which is something we're going to have to do, um, especially myself, because I do not know much about this, about these characters. I want to learn more. Can see I'm going to read the comics. Detail. You can actually see there's all those. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There's actually a little tab on the top of the energy can to open it so there's even a lot of detail on this little little tiny yeah, accessory there's a there is a rhino there. wouldn't it be cool if these were like the okay. same comic but from different perspectives like they were both battling, oh, they were the battling but, different but this is from his perspective Dad. that's from his perspective you can see the, the pictures look different so i'm guessing they're probably not the same because in this see one the blue is the tallest this guy right. can fly this dude can fly apparently how i don't know but he's flying Oh, uh, there's a bunch of explosions. That is cool. I don't really know who he's fighting. We've got stickers for this guy for sabotage. Looks like there's, well, maybe six of them. That's cool. Six mini stickers that go on this guy. Let's see, does it tell you where to put the stickers? Oh yes, it does, right here. There's your sticker map. The other cool thing about this is it, it has replaceable batteries. So if you don't like hearing the annoying noise, 
<laughs> and unscrew him and take the battery out. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a cool noise, but if you wanted to not have to listen to it, you could take out the batteries. That is cool. We'll do a zoom in of this guy. And I think we might do a 360 spin of this guy, of both of these guys, so you can kind of see some of the hey, real detail here. Some but again, a lot of articulation. I think I, I think it said how many points there are, but um, this is really, really cool. The detail is good. The paint job is great. Dad. I love this like mechanical assist arm, like this swinging action. That is cool. Dad. And the light up. I saw people said these were heavy. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, he died. He died. <laughs> Whoa. That was really hurt. Like, imagine. I wonder how big humans are compared to right, these guys. Me, you mean put on his stickers? Uh, sure. Do you want? Stop touching the button, please. <laughs> Sabotage is heavy. He's thick. He's he heavy. heavy. All right, guys. I really enjoyed unboxing these. Watching you two unbox them, uh, I think these characters are really cool. I'm looking forward to the Phase 2 and even getting more of these guys for this series. Um, the attention to detail, the paint job. I mean, just the concept of the characters is really sweet. So let me ask you this, Wes. Which one is your favorite? Quilroy. You like the one. You like the dumbbell. <laughs> That's his favorite. <laughs> That's his favorite. Okay. Will, which one do you like? I would like Sabotage. Sabotage is cool. Just the one that got I'm me just into this. I like I like the I like he the could machine whack his gun. Face, but I he just, does have a machine gun. He also has a <laughs> gun and a little knife. Now, I mean, He's got a lot of weaponry, but this guy. I don't know. He could be really. We agile. don't know what those arrows do, so he could absolutely. Know, he could just watch one of them be like a new arrow. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> in Quillroy's action comic, he actually battles action comic and mini comic. He battles sabotage, so we could probably read up and see what actually happens. Uh, sabotage is. I don't think he battles Quillroy in that one, does he? Did I don't you notice so. that? So we'll have to read it and check on on check Boy, in on what's happening you can see there. This one has a symbol. Yeah, that's a sticker I put on him. I just. No, he, this guy came with stickers. He did not come with stickers. All right, guys. Well, is there anything else we need to add? No. Is there anything we're missing with these cool characters from Alternation, yeah. Pandemonium Toys? You guys should definitely check no. them out. That's check all I got to say. Link in the description. So shoot, like, subscribe, comment, and shoot this arrow at the subscribe button. Right. Smash <laughs> it with that arrow. Smash it with that arrow. Do this. Well, Dude, okay, well, until then, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Dad, at 10 p.m., this dude has an invisible arm. <laughs> what? <laughs> 10 p.m., he has an invisible <laughs> arm. So these, actually, these stickers are not that bad to put on. They are small, but there's... <laughs>